how to get your financial retirement plan in shape for 2018. Joining me now is Dan Houston, CEO of Principal. Dan, great to have you here. Thanks for joining us. Scott, it's a privilege. Thanks for having me. So what is step one? Because a lot of people in the new year take stock of their finances. And I have to imagine that retirement is one area that a lot of people need some work on. Weight loss and retirement, right? New Year's resolutions. What are you going to do differently? I think it really gets down to something quite simple. Fortunately, many of us work for employers that have access to a 401k plan. Defer 15% of your income into a qualified retirement plan. And when you reach age 67, which most of your listeners will be eligible for Social Security at that point in time, they'll replace 85% of their pre-retirement income. Starting soon, having a plan, but if you get nothing out of this discussion, 15% of your income today deferred for long-term retirement needs. And also that will lower your annual tax bill. It does, yeah. Even with the changes that we all witnessed here in the most recent Tax Reform Act that was passed, you're still incented, and oftentimes people, uh, employers have matching contributions, profit-sharing contributions, so you want to certainly take advantage of all of those benefits. But especially for young people watching, I mean, saving 15% of your income is no easy feat, especially if you're grappling with student loan debt, you know, rent, all these different expenses. So how do you balance the two? Well, these are pri this is a matter of priority. But I think about this. Once you graduate from college, prior to college, most people didn't have an income. Now you got $50,000, $60,000 of, of income. Even for those people who are working in, in more manual labor types of jobs, this is a matter of making some sacrifices today to ensure long-term financial security into the future. So I do think that you can look at your budgets, prioritize, and set that money aside. Because I think the key here, right, is compounding interest. It is. Explain what that is briefly. Well, the benefit of this compounding interest is if you, for example, save, you're going to double that money, the rule of 72, so you're going to double that money every six to seven years and kind of the current mix of equity markets and fixed income. But the benefit is over the course of that 30 years, that asset is going to continue to compound and grow. By the time you get into the latter half of your contributions, you'll make more from your earnings than your actual annual contributions into that qualified plan. Dan Houston, CEO and Chairman of Principal. We'll leave it there. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Scott.